All right, today we're back in the shop. Uh, we've been building turtles. But today I would also like to show you how to build them. I hope some of you guys are out of forging, you're blacksmithing, you try it, or maybe you're just interested. So, I'll let Mary come in. These are some of the turtles we've built. And uh, I will show you the process that I came up with. I haven't seen anybody do it, but uh, I'll show you the process I came up with on how to build these little turtles. They're lots of fun. I think they'd be a good uh, advanced project, even beginner project. There's a lot of techniques in it that nothing's really that tricky. Especially once I show you how to do it, you'll go, oh, that, that makes sense. Hopefully you make a killer turtle. It looks awesome. Uh, the shells are all different. Everything like that. And uh, let's go. Let's build some turtles. Okay, so now these turtles, the sea turtle, these two, these are built out of a one inch by one inch bar. I'll show you the length for the steps when we get to the vise. The next turtles down are built out of three quarter a three quarter solid bar. And the little teeny dude is built out of a half by half solid bar. So we'll show you, like I said, the, the cut lengths and things when we get to the vise and we start cutting. Today, for the demonstration, I'm going to build one out of the three quarter, this size. So he'll be out of this bar. It's just a chunk of scrap, actually, from some other projects, but he'll be out of this bar. We'll get you this size turtle. And of course, to go down, step down on the bars, to go up, go up. You could build it out of a four inch bar. You could build it out of as big as you want. So, okay, let's go to what we got to do to cut it. Okay, the first process of cutting this bar, we're going to cut it. Um, this is your legs, so you're going to come in. I'm drawing it out just so you can see it. These are your turtle's legs. So now what we're going to be doing is if you want a longer head or longer legs, you need to make these cuts on this side deeper. If you want a taller shell or a shorter shell, you're going to make this space closer or farther. Hopefully that makes sense. But these are your first cuts, is your legs. Now I tried, I tried cutting just one cut down the center, and you get a very wide, you get a very wide V in here, and it, it's real difficult to spread it out even. It was kind of, it was, it was unnecessary. You, you got more material than you need, so you might as well make your cuts, and then. For your legs and then you'll have less material material need to to make this bend so that your legs are out okay so let's start out let's make these two cuts and then we're going to take the center out and that'll be a lot easier to bend our legs out that's your first step Okay, so I'm about a blade depth, plus a little more. The blade's about a half inch, so it's probably a three quarter inch depth. Now I'm going to come at an angle. I'm just going to cut that block out. little piece here you can leave it or because when we move these legs out you'll have access to it and forge it down 
or you can take a grinding wheel like I'm going to do and sneak it in here and, and knock this down. This is going to be his belly. Turtles have kind of a funny things on the bottom of their shell so you can play around with it. But I'm going to knock it out with a grinder. So this is the start of our legs. We got one set here, one here. Now we got to pick this for the distance for the shell. Now you want some space in the uh, from the legs here. So from here to here, there needs to be a little space. So give yourself, you know, a quarter of an inch, eighth inch at least before you try and figure out the length for your shell. And it's just a guess. They're all going to come out different. You can measure this exact if you want. This is about three quarters inch deep. You know, it's a blade width plus a quarter. Do another quarter here. Go up about three quarters of an inch here. Now we're going to cut that off. Okay, so there's your little block. Mine's not cut exact. Or it's going to work though. So here's the turtle is actually this way. But now what we need to do is heat it up and we're going to push these legs out. So we'll show you that. Okay, so we've got a block. This is just an easy way to do it. To get it started. I set this in here. A turtle hammer. Round fuller. And then from there, that's just how I get it just started, like I said. So I'll get a little more heat. Now we'll go to the vise and we're really gonna flatten these out. Okay, so in the vise, I just stick the main block in and you're bending these over. I like to come in and help get them started. Clean up some of this in here that was kind of got from cutting and grinding. So basically, what you've done now is created this this block. These are going to be his legs. And these are going to be his legs and his head, whichever side. So what we'll do now is actually I'm going to cool it off. And then I'm going to cut the lines in for the, uh, the legs and the tail. I'll show you how I do that. And then the legs and the head. And then we'll go to our next part. This is where you want to be now is spread those out. I'm going to clean that up a little with a file. And I'll show you. If you got a hacksaw, you can use a hacksaw. You don't have to have a little port of band or anything. You can use a hacksaw and cut those all out. It's just obviously going to take you longer. Okay, so that's where you want to be. Now I'll show you how I cut the uh, legs. First thing first, tuck your beard in. <laughs> Get your beard cut and your port of band. That's a bad day. Okay. This is just the easiest way I've found. You can clamp that in your vise and you can cut down to make your legs. What all I'm going to do is I got it clamped in these vise grips. Keeps my hands away from it. I'm going to take it and cut a leg. You can see hopefully there's one leg there. Come on the other side. Another leg. Now we'll make a little turtle tail. 
on this side. So I'm going to go in at an angle. I'm going to go in at an angle and cut across and across. Cut one way, and I'll cut the other way just a little. Okay, so now I've got my legs, my little turtle butt. Now I'm going to turn it around, and I will cut the front legs same way, and the head will be in the middle. So. If you need, then it don't matter which side. And for the turtle head, you can see the legs there. I got one's crooked. It's going to be all right. All I'm going to do is knock the corners off. One side, on the other side. And there we have it. We have our turtle with his little butt, his legs, his tail, and his head and his front legs. Now this process you want to do now before we start on the shell because if the shell is folded over you'll you'll cut into your shell. Now you can do this with just a handsaw. I'm I'm doing it and trying to do it quickly for the demo. But you can see the turtle already. Shoot, he's already done. Bend his legs down and that's a box turtle. <laughs> okay. So now let me show you the trick to the shell. Okay the trick to the shell this is cooled off but when we heat it up as you can see the legs we want a space. So I'll have Mary come in. See the legs? I want them below the vise and a little bit in. And it'll get easier as you start because it'll leave a mark. But I'm going to heat it up and I'm going to set it in the vise so that those legs are just, just in like that. That's going to hold it good and it's going to allow us to do what we need to here. You're going to want some tongs to hold it that are narrower than your vise so that you can set him in and out. Same spot. It's going to create a little mark, which is good because it helps you to be able to hold him. Get him tight. See how it's already forming that shell. It's just a rivet, a square rivet, pretty much. You can see the side of him right there. How that vise is starting to leave a mark. That's okay. The shell is going to come down to there. That gives us kind of a body at the bottom of the shell and his legs. You've got him in here once or twice in your heat. Like I said, that little edge starts to show up. You can kind of get it settled in, then you can really start switching up hammers.
button, you can see how it's coming. Now that that line's in there, if you don't have a vise that you can hammer in, I'm trying to think of some other ways that you really need to be able to, to hold them if you laid him flat on an anvil beat down his shell it works a little bit but you're really gonna flatten out his feet and his legs it still works I do some finishing work with it that way but you can see he's starting his starting his shell Now you can see I got the right side is more done than the other side because I'm right handed. I'm hitting on this side a lot harder than I am clear over here. So it's pretty easy just turn him around. This next time I put him in the vise, I'll put him in this way. Work on that other shell. But you can see the shell and his legs and he's a little crooked. It's all right. Okay, so we got them in there, we've got our shell, shell's a little funny but for a demo thing I think it's going to be good. Okay, so we got the shell pretty close, you can keep going, you can keep going, you can do anything you want, you can change the shape, push material back, push it up, push it way out, whatever you want to do now, but we're going to go to the legs and the head. There's a little bit of a trick with it that I'll show you. So we're going to heat him up and we're going to go stand him in the vise this way. We're going to push his legs out. We're going to go out and then we're going to flip him over, put him in, and we'll do the back and we'll push him out. The last thing we're going to do is curl him over. Uh, tortoise has kind of a bodybuilder stance, kind of puts his legs out. So we go out. Then we can still clamp it to do the back, push them out, fold them down, and we got our turtle. Okay, so we're going to put him in like this, holding on to his legs. So that we can get these legs moved out. Sneak right in here where we made our cuts. Bend about a little. This is a very skinny fuller. Come in. Tap it. His head's already wanting to kind of come up, but get in between here. Go as clean as you want. Get his legs moved out, but don't bend them over yet. Side. See, it lets me grab onto something by having his legs and his head still there. Move these legs out where the tail is.
get a little more heat. This one, see if I can get them out a little bit farther. That's pretty far. <laughs> I'm kind of clean him up a little bit, show it from the top. Lock. And check the other side. As you can see how he's got his arms and his belly. Okay. Okay, so you can clean up his shell a little bit on your anvil, set him down under his legs, and come in and push these down a little bit. If there's somewhere you don't like, you can work on his feet a little bit, as much as you want to start doing to your turtle. As you can see the back of this shell is a little funny, but I am kind of just doing this for a demo. So you can bring these down, and get it back where you want it. You have to look at some turtles. Go and look up some turtles. Turn your Google on. And look up some turtle shells. You can get these edges. That one's got a long ways. So you can see your turtle. This one's got a high spot over here, but it's okay. What we're going to do now is bend the legs and the head, and uh, we'll finish this one off. Do these legs is pair of scrolling tongs. Bend their legs up. Grab them with a big old pair of pliers. Bend their legs down like that. Just so he's got a little stance to him. Tortoise, tortoise has a pretty good stance. If you look at a tortoise, he's they got a bulldog type stance. They're kind of funny. Grab a hold of his legs, give him a little tweak. Once you get them up, then uh, do the front legs. Okay, then the front legs are the same. Grab a hold of them, bend them down, bend them down. That bulldog stance. I kind of like when their heads up. Like I said, you have to look at some turtles and see. Once he's got a little stance to him, if he's kind of crooked like this one, what I'll do is take my hammer and hold on to one of the shallow legs. And not with my hammer head, but usually with my hammer mallet. Give him a little thump. It don't hurt to drop it. Don't hurt to grab on to him and kind of settle him into his stance. But, there you have it. Turtle. We'll cool him off and get him wire wheeled up for you. And uh, we'll show you the turtle. Turtles love having their shell rubbed down. <laughs> get them clean, get all that bayou scum off them. Okay, so here's our little guy that we just made. Uh, you can tell, yes, I was 
hurrying, but you got the basic idea of the process so that you can build one. Cut these with a hacksaw, pick a bar you want. You can use a round bar. You just need to cut when you do the legs to be the same and your top where your rivet is, this will be round. So you can do the same process. Make a shell, make your one piece turtle. Uh, you can tell, see the head, now you know the steps. Now you can just finesse it on your own and build a turtle. I'd love to see it. Uh, if you build one, just the sizes of bar will change the size of the turtles. Uh, if you follow us on Facebook, on the Let's Go on Facebook, if you build a turtle, I would love to see it. Shoot me a picture of it. Tell me what you thought of this video. As you can tell from this little guy, pick up your trash. <laughs> but uh, they're a lot of fun. Uh, we're going to be putting them on our Etsy, different ones and things like that. But hopefully, for the sea turtles, you can tell it's just the legs. I made the shell a little different, but the legs are like fins. Look up sea turtles. Look up what their legs look like. Same process. One inch bar. I cut the center out, the width I wanted the legs, and made this like a rivet. Think of this shell like a rivet, not like a, a shell until you get going. But that's how you're making this, is like a rivet. Round and round and out, and you can go as far as you want. This one... I stretched way out and I really like the appearance it has. You have to just take your time, take your heat, and be careful building your turtles. This one, a lot of the turtles, like I said, look them up. They have these ridge lines all the way around. I chiseled some of these in, put eyeballs on them. You can do as much detail as you want. You can round these legs. You can put their little feet nubs on them. You can nub their tails. Um, all I'm showing you quickly today was the process, three quarter inch by three quarter inch bar, probably an inch and a quarter of it, it wasn't very long. You can experiment if you want these head to stick way out, you're going to have to make your initial cuts longer so that these are out longer and then you might have to cut your legs back and cut them off shorter so the head sticks way out. If you want it way in there. You're going to have to do the opposite. But the process is fun. The turtles are super cool. I think they'll be a good selling item if you build yourself. Uh, they're funny. They're cute. They could be keychains. They could be paperweights. They could be part of your garden gate type thing. And they can be made any size. We can even get this little stinker that my wife loves this little teeny thing that's a half by half bar you could go smaller if you're so inclined i can't get my sasquatch hands to do much a little smaller than that but hope you enjoyed it hopefully if uh, you like the video you like the process i got lots of other processes one piece birds and things that i'm working on a vulture a dragon a all kinds of things. We'll share with you the process of the videos on how to build your own. And hopefully you see something else in it and you go, oh, I'm going to try and build whatever it is, a cat, a dog, a tarantula, I don't, I don't even know, octopus. We could build all kinds of stuff. But the process is cool. It's pretty simple. It's kind of a rivet shell turtle. Uh, hopefully, like I said, it's earned your subscription. Please subscribe. Check out the other videos we got. I'll put some more on here. Thank you. Hopefully you get out in your shop. Let's go. Build something.